Well, hey, YouTube. Welcome back, my friends, once again to another exciting episode here at Jack's Tech Hut. Today, I'm sure the title and the thumbnail gives it away, as I always tell you, but we're going to be looking at Montego. Okay, and Maltigo or Maltigo, Maltigo. Uh, we're going to look at this. This is an application uh, that is a GUI based app that will run just about anything. Honestly, you can install it on Windows, you can install it on Linux, you can install it on on a Mac. Uh, it will run perfectly fine. Now, what we're going to use it for though today is we are going to use it to do reconnaissance. Now, reconnaissance is something that I know my students hate to do, uh, and you may love it, you may hate it. But if we get hired uh, to do a, you know, a, a pen test for a company, we want to dig down and find out about as much about that company as we possibly can. So Montego is a great starting point, and I like using it for uh, for the class. Now we're going to use the free version. So if you do click on your Kali Linux and go under Information Gathering, it will come up first of all. It'll say it'll say Maltigo or Maltigo install okay so i just installed it it is a free download free install uh, we're going to frequently use here we're going to run it and the reason i wanted to start off here instead of showing you in the graphic is to show you how it starts up all right so this is how it starts up and we are going to look at uh, you can buy a key okay you can purchase the full-blown pro version uh, you can activate the key. Maybe your company has a key already. Uh, you can activate the classic key. We are going to run the uh, Maltigo or Maltigo CE Free Edition. All right, so we're going to run this. And it is going to ask us here to uh, accept the licensing terms. We're going to do that. Okay, click Next. And then you have to log in. Now, if you don't have an account, it's okay. Because if you look at the top here, you click on it, Free register here for free all right so i'm going to go ahead actually and pause the video and i'm going to go ahead and log in and uh, get started to show you how to do a reconnaissance of a company again this is strictly if you're hired to do a uh, penetration test and you're just trying to see how much information about the company is out there and then we go back and you can report that to the company say look do you know about this uh, website do you know about this uh, subdomain uh, do you know about this email address that may be out there Sometimes you're gonna find these companies don't even realize they left stuff hanging out there and we need to clean all that up So let me go ahead and log in here and we will come back with the video shortly and we'll get started here showing you around Okay, once Maltigo loads you get everything fired up there and you start getting into the, the software itself Okay, I want you to actually put a uh, Just a blank notepad or some notes whatever you're using um, You know, I use a lot of times I use uh, uh, you know different notes like uh, Evernote and uh, I've used uh, different note-taking apps over the times there but this is just a simple notepad app that I opened up I like to make it uh, along the side you can put yours wherever you want to you can see mine's over here on the right so what we're going to do is you can see I picked a company name here and you can do this with any company that you know of remember um, doing a deep dive into a company is not illegal uh, we're not touching their servers we're not doing anything uh, and the company called you right you already signed a contract you're going to be doing a um, you're going to be doing a penetration test with the company they want to know more about the deep dive of their company so you want to start with Montego Mel Mal Mel Tigo <laughs> and uh, you're going to go ahead from there and we're going to work our way up all right so that's where we're at right now so all we have to do to start this is to go over I always start with the top level domain so I'm going to grab a domain here I'm just going to drag it over onto my map all right sometimes this thing moves around a little bit let's see if we can't get it over there all right so we're going to start with a top level domain you can see here we were clicked on new graph we have a new graph you can do as many of these as you want maybe you would want to work these so you can do them a little bit at a time I, I go full tilt when I do these so let me show you we're going to double click on the name here we're going to change this to our domain name we want to search again this is a company here in the United States that uh, well it's not doing too well anymore most of the local stores that we had closed down so I picked this company again it, there's nothing illegal with scanning any company you can look at any company out there that you wish uh, there's there's nothing illegal by 
uh, digging up information about the company, right? We're not doing anything to the company. So remember that. And again, you're doing this because you're getting paid by the company to find information about it. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to right click on this globe here. And you can either click the plus sign here and you can do a slow dive. What I mean by a slow dive is we can go through and we can start looking for, like, for their mail server names. We can go down here and look for uh, uh, DNS names, DNS entries, uh, email addresses with uh, PGP. We can take a look around for email addresses, uh, email addresses within properties. So you can do that. And you, so you get the idea. You can go down here. You can do a website quick search. All right. But what I like to do, what I teach my students to do, is just to do all transforms at one time. Just click that little triangle here on the right. It says run all. When we do this, you're going to see that you're going to get this machine up. Okay, this uh, this uh, required inputs. Now you can change it here. It says search date range. We can change this, put any date range in there we want. I just tend to leave it the way it is. Set back in 1970. You know, who knows? Just let it get what it gets. And click on run. All right. Once we do that, you can see we're starting to spider out here. We're starting to build a graphical chart of the company. Again, this is the graphical chart of the uh, the span of the company, what what it involves, what the company deals with, uh, you know, different uh, subdomains the company may own, uh, different locations, different email addresses. You may find uh, phone numbers, managers' names, uh, supervisors' names, CEOs' names. But anyway, you get the general idea here. So what's really nice about this is if you come over to the right where it says overview, you click your mouse, you can actually move around slowly over this thing. This is how I choose to do this. So the first thing I was looking for is I always look for where is the domain registered? Okay, who holds the registration for the domain? I find it here is probably VeriSign, V-E-R-I-S-I-G-N, VeriSign. And what I do in my notepad over here is I keep track of what I'm finding because if not, you'll never remember this stuff. It is information overload. And when I teach this class, I actually have a worksheet that the students fill out of what they find because then it keeps them on task without them actually knowing what to look for. So here's some stuff here. I, I looked at for SOA, uh, the, uh, you know, who uh, is the authorizing agent uh, for the uh, domain. And I found the email address to be administrator at pizzahut.com, which is pretty normal. Who is the domain register is VeriSign again. I found a name. There's a name here, uh, this Gardner Lane. Apparently, I registered a domain at one time or another. The next thing I would go down here and I would type in here subdomains. And I would start listing them. Every one I would find on here. Like you find here, look over on the, on the left again. You got like quickorder.pizzahut.com. So you, got that. you don't have to write the whole thing. Quick order. Okay, if you're right, quick order dot enter uh, franchise. So you can see a franchise there. And uh, C H I S E franchise period. So why are we looking for these? What would make a difference? Companies, when they hire you to do a penetration test, it's nice that you do your due diligence to find everything out about that company you can find out. Because let's say this one here the literacy project. Okay, that's pretty cool. So they have uh, a literacy project, but maybe they don't know about it anymore. Maybe it was a CEO a long time ago that created this thing, and he doesn't even know anymore that it exists. Maybe they got rid of the project. Maybe they can no longer fund it, and it might be something that he might want to close down. All right. Here's another one. Restaurant quality. Okay. Restaurant. Uh, restaurant. U uh, R A N T. Restaurant quality, I L I T Y. All right, there's another one there. And again, I could just pull my mouse over this and I can just keep digging. All right, uh, there's a Mexican version, it's probably a Mexican version of their, of their, uh, or a Spanish version of their menu, right? Es Espanol, right? So you'll type that one out E S P A N O L, okay? Espanol. Mobile, there's a mobile app, M-O-B-I-L-E, okay, makes sense, should have a mobile app these days, right, and if you go over here, you'll see if they have any more, uh, they do, they have easy order, easy.order, 
So there's another one. So here it is here. Easy or ES. Okay, ES. It's not really easy. ES order. I don't know really what that stands for. But all right. So there's a few different ones. Now, if we just scroll down through here with, with over on the right again, over the overview, we're moving our mouse around. Uh, look, service-test.digital. That probably, I would have to guess, that probably is a um, something some technologist up at one time or another uh, to check the systems out. So, and you know, you'll go back through there, you could find out what these apps are. What do they do? Where are they connected to? Like EML. You know, who knows what EML is? So, EM.ML. You get the idea. So, we're just doing a deep dive. I'm not going to make this video run too long. We're already at 10 minutes. And, uh, you know, I don't know how long you like to watch these videos, being that this is pretty much a new YouTube channel. Hey, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, now would be a great time to click that subscribe button as we're going through looking at this stuff. And, uh, you know, give the old video a big thumbs up. I would appreciate that. Uh, any suggestions for future shows? Drop those in the comments. I'd love to uh, hear from you. Like I said, I've been teaching uh, cybersecurity and networking technology uh, for a very long time. And uh, so anytime you uh, want to ask a question, by all means, do so. The next thing we're looking for here, look at this. Here's some stuff here. This is always interesting. The IP addresses. All right. So the next thing here, I'm going to make another line and type in uh, IP addresses. And it's very possible that those are going back to whoever's hosting their, their websites, right? I don't believe any of these stores, these are, this is a pizza shop. I don't think any pizza shop uh, around me has servers running in it. Uh, matter of fact, I'm pretty certain they do not. Uh, IP address, there's one. Then we got 104.45. Now, if you would start doing an Nmap scan and scanning against these ports, uh, is that illegal? Yeah, because now you're digging in for vulnerabilities. You're digging in for holes, right? Uh, and, uh, you know, here's another name here. So there's a name there. I'll go up here on my uh, my worksheet I'm building. And uh, T-A-N-M-A-Y. T-A-N-M-A-Y. You know, and somebody might even say at the company level, you go back to the CEO and say, hey, I got I found these names. I'm like, well, wait a minute. They, they haven't worked for the company for 40 years, right? So this is stuff that you're digging for. Uh, as you can see, there's some more. There's another. There's a phone number. So I can go here and write phone number. Just a really nice way, guys and girls out there watching these videos, to allow you to be very valuable to these companies that are hiring you. Uh, you know, when you're doing a deep dive and you're finding things that they don't even know exist anymore, that's when they know that they hired the, the, the proper people. Here's PDF files. Like we can probably go in there and open these PDFs, right? So pizza has changed uh, quiz official rules. Okay, so there's all kinds of stuff in there. Look at this one. Uh, uh, pizza, pizza hut through breadsticks sweepstakes, right? So there's all this kind of stuff here. And you can right click on this stuff. And you could transform that. We could drill down into that even more. I'm not going to do that right now, but I'm just showing you that, that it is there. So we're finding documents on their servers that could be hanging out there. They might not even know they're available. Uh, these JSON files. JSON files are traditionally used to uh, gather indexing uh, data information for websites. So are these readable? You know, can we see these? And we're not going to look at that today. That's something for you to deep dive into as you're going through these. I do. When I go through and do a deep dive for a company, I see can I open those PDFs? Can I open the, the JSON files? You know, what's in those files? What's being held there? Again, I'm going back. I'm just scrolling, slowly scrolling back through. Uh, look, deals.json. So there's some deals files in there. And these are all things that we're looking for. You know, what's hanging out there? And if any of these are open and accessible, that's something you want to know about. You know, most of it probably is nothing. Like if we clicked on this one over here, it probably is nothing at all as far as, uh, you know, again, uh, Pizza Hut through breadstick sweepstakes or something. It probably is nothing. You can click on relationships and see if it's related to anything incoming. Uh, PizzaHut.com is where it's related, so it's probably hooked to their domain somewhere, I'm sure. Uh, generator, who generated it? Where did it generate from? Uh, Wayback Machine. So this stuff is pointing stuff too from the Wayback Machine. If you don't know what that is, it's a historical view of the internet. 
okay uh, archive.org they host all kind of stuff out there so there's all kind of stuff you can find about companies you're looking at we're gonna go back up to the center here and now we're just start scrolling back over there's a blog there's a blog blog.pizzahut.com okay maybe we want to tell them about that there's a blog out there blog.pizzahut.com okay uh, Again, I just this is just something I wanted to show you. I don't know if you're interested in this stuff or not, but uh, you know, anytime you get called upon to do a uh, penetration test for a company, do your best first of all to recon. Uh, the hardest penetration testing, and I know when I was a technology director for years, I would do this. Companies we hire a company to do a penetration testing, and you know, the first thing they want to know is, well, what's your outside IP address? Well, to me, that's like giving you the keys to my car, right, and telling you to try to steal it. So. Uh, it is cheaper if you give them the IP addresses. Like if you give me the IP addresses, it would be cheaper than me trying to dig around and find them uh, because I am going to find your IP addresses to your servers. It is harder nowadays because most people host with cloud-based services and it does get harder to find what you're looking for, but it is still obtainable. You will still find it. Uh, I can usually drill down and find their ISP to their company and get right back into their uh, their servers or cells. So. All right, I think I'm going to leave this right about there, like for a thumbnail. So, all right, guys, so if this is something you're uh, interested in, this is again Maltigo or Maltigo. I think it's Maltigo. Maltigo. M A L T E G O. M A L T E G O. Again, you're using the community edition. If you want to pay for it later, if you get a lot of orders, and I would suggest, hey, if it's helping you to fulfill your contracts, then yeah, by all means, pay for it. And, uh, you know, use this offer. If you're going to use it all the time, you should, you should buy it. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Jack's Tech Hut. Uh, thanks to the new subscribers out there. Guys, it's great to see the this new channel coming alive and, and getting growth there. And like I said, I've been teaching this for a long time. It's just something I love to do. And I love to show people how to use this different uh, software-based stuff and uh, do networking. So you know, there's a lot more to come. So until next time, uh, remember, I always tell you guys, as Steve Job always says, stay curious. And if you hit, haven't hit that subscribe button, hit that subscribe button. I would truly appreciate that 100% and give me a big old thumbs up. Any comments for future shows, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Take care, everybody. Until next time, I'll see you. Bye for now.